This short video is going to show how to import Autodesk Inventor files into Gibbscam and also how to carry over changes that you've made in that Inventor file to your Gibbscam file. So what we're going to do to get this into Gibbscam, we're just going to go to Add-ins and Transfer to Gibbscam. We can see that it's going to go ahead and open up a Gibbscam window for me. I'm just going to go ahead and accept these. This is asking me what kind of data I want to bring over. I'm just going to click the default and click OK. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the features. If we look at the feature manager, you can see that those features from that inventor file all came over and that's really important. I'll show you why in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and create a, a tool really quick. And I'm just going to do a quick tool path. I'm going to use my profiler to cut out that gear. So I'm just going to come down here. All right, great, so I have this tool path, everything's great. Now, let's go back to that inventor file really quick. And let's say, for instance, something changed, like this circular pattern. Let's say there's now 12 teeth, okay? Go ahead and accept that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer to Gibbscam. When I do that, you can see that I have this window that pops up. Do I want it as a new part? Do I want to insert it in this part or replace? I'm gonna say replace, click the defaults again. So now, if I close all these out, I'm just going to go ahead and double click on that tool path and hit redo. And it's automatically going to update that tool path for the changes. If you have any questions about getting files into Gibbscam from Autodesk, please visit our website at www.3dsystems.com. Thank you for watching.